Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about the engineering branches, right? Decision which branch you want to take based on the toughness level and how you can perform better based on your skills and the capabilities, right? So this will be helpful for all of KSET, Comet, KJ mains and all other general students, right? So I'll discuss in terms of complexity, workload, topics, depth and competition. So all those things are important. So if you see the toughest engineering branch across globe or across world, everyone will tell you and that is correct. Electrical engineering is considered to be the toughest engineering branch for the reason that most of the things in electrical engineering are abstract concept. You cannot see electricity. You cannot see current. You cannot see resistance. You cannot see anything. So in this, it is a heavy use of mathematics and physics so students who are not good at maths and physics they should not go for this branch this requires a heavy imagination about everything complex topics like power systems control systems signal processing those are all part of it even ECE is a similar topic but I will talk about that later electrical engineering is considered to be the most complex engineering branch now the second most complex engineering branch is mechanical engineering again tough subjects you have life thermodynamics fluid dynamics machine design manufacturing and this requires a lot of intense lab and workshop in india a lot of students mug up and they cram all the things and they become mechanical engineer but you need to have intense lab and workshop experience before you should be you are able to do it by yourself right and it was involves a lot of physics and the mechanics which you saw in the j mains or the exam is not an easy subject now coming to the third most tough subject again it also involves both rigorous academics that te technically you should be studying much and also on-site application which is civil engineering and making structural engineering geotechnological subjects are quite conceptually demanding and it requires a lot of imagination right and if you do a one wrong design your whole of the bridges buildings everything goes fall apart so it is one of the toughest subjects and now fourth is a chemical engineering for the reason that it has blend of chemistry it has blend of physics and some advanced mathematics is also involved if you go for higher studies in chemical engineering so a lot of topics like process design reaction kinetics thermodynamics are challenging in nature and you also need to have a good memory in many of the topics in chemical engineering so they that is also considered as one of the toughest branches now aerospace engineering is also similar to mechanical engineering i could change the positions of aerospace i can make it second mechanical field but those are common in nature aerospace is one of the toughest branch one of the most use of maths and physics and aerodynamics propulsion flight dynamics are not easy subjects compared to other csc related subjects which we now see so these are the top five toughest branches which you have to have good combination of maths and physics. Now let's see the sixth branch. So sixth branch is computer science engineering. So computer science engineering is a more application of mathematics. There is very less application of physics. There is very less application of chemistry. Tough if you are not a math student. It involves a lot of algorithms, data structure, machine learning, operating system some sort of mathematics and some sort of algorithm process based things you need to understand it highly highly competitive job market is there but the most number of jobs are there in computer science or csc specialization branches now let's see next is electronics and communication engineering though it is seventh sometime ec is considered to be tougher than csc so ec is tougher than csc for the reason that it involves physics and maths both so higher concepts of EC, uh, csc are tough but generally generally ec is also very tough right compared to csc the reason that it involves deep understanding of analog digital electronics and it also involves lot of imagination 
so semiconductor industry vlsi and all gaining momentum and good job opportunities are there in ec as well now the subject engineering physics why i have put it it, it is also quite complicated theoretical subject because people who are going to study this subject they know that engineering they are going to study at physics so those students may be good at physics that's why they are taking physics so they may not feel the heat but it is also theoretical subject lot of chem quantum mechanics electromagnetism advanced mathematics will be used here also best suited for research oriented students job opportunities will be in the research and development positions now next object is the metallurgical engineering again it is combination of chemical and physics subjects it involves complex material science and thyroid minds it is less popular but again it is also academically demanding and it is not easy to pass through uh, like similar to chemical engineering it has a complex concepts and but the students who like chemistry then those students only take these subjects regular students don't take these subjects available in most of the nits and iits now the tenth is the instrumentation and control engineering so it is compared to be comparatively simpler than ece branch for the reason that uh, you know it uses heavy maths but again physics and all proportion of it is little easier than the regular ec or the electrical engineering requires a strong command of sensors automation control systems and other important things so that's all so hope you it will help you based on how good you are at physics maths chemistry and overall concepts and what you want to study in that context thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the areas take